Hey there, <laughs> it's your favorite musician, Medus de Colchis, <laughs> named after the famous Greek hero. Well, I guess he's not really famous because most people have never heard of Medus de Colchis. But now back to the main point. What's the difference between Maria Orsic and Dr. Stephen Greer? All right, they both basically practice CE5. Right? And they both had success, except one was using it for evil, supposedly, and the other one is using it for the enlightenment of mankind and, and the liberation of the human species. So what's the difference between Maria Orsic and um, Dr. Stephen Greer? Well, essentially, unless you, you, you talk about anything other than the C5, they're the same thing. They were both actively contacting... You know, so in many ways, CE5 was actually pioneered by Myra Orsic and the Nazis. But this is not to say that Dr. Stephen Greer is, a, is involved with anything nefarious like the Nazis or anything like that. Oh, on the contrary, he's, he's helping defeat the Nazis by exposing the true Illuminati, right? The in military industrial complex, that's the true Illuminati. Because nobody on this planet has more power than whoever controls the Eight. Sorry, it froze there for a second, but I was saying nobody on this planet has more power than whoever controls the ARVs or man-made UAPs. That's the people that have the most power on this planet. That's the true Illuminati. Because a lot of people think that Jay-Z and all these people doing this symbolism makes them Illuminati, but really these people have no idea what's going on in the world. They do this because they're told to do that by the real Illuminati. That's what, that's what everybody thought. They thought it was like Illuminati was all these celebrities and all these people in movies and, and music industries that, that do these symbolism like that. Like, you know, Lady Gaga, Jay-Z, Madonna. These are the big names that really like the Illuminati and the symbolism, but they're not Illuminati because they don't have the power to basically stop Donald Trump from winning the elections, right? The only person that has the power to stop a billionaire like Donald Trump from winning the elections is the Illuminati, right? Because they control the media. They made all the celebrities that were sellouts say like, no one vote for this guy, vote for Biden that keeps sniffing women. Like what's up with all of him sniffing women all, like, all the time like that? How does this guy get elected when he's sniff going around sniffing women like, and the media just ignores all of that, but yet they want to call Donald Trump a racist when originally um, all the celebrities, well not all the celebrities, but a lot of the, the rappers were really into him. Like the Snoop Dogg was, was, has a picture of him with Donald Trump and he doesn't look like he hates him. He looks like they're buddies, right? Donald Trump was cool until he ran against Hillary Clinton. All right, but anyways, I don't want to really get into politics because a lot of people like get really triggered by that. You do what you gotta do, but you gotta admit the celebrities that are Illuminati or Illuminati supported. Look at me. See, even I tend to call celebrities Illuminati, but they're not. It's just this term is like a general term that's used to to denote the people that know what's going on, the people that know that there's a shadow government, a military industrial complex that's running things. The people that know that in, are usually celebrities, but I know that. Does that make me Illuminati? You know that. Does that make you Illuminati? Right? That's why the true Illuminati, the true powerhouse, is the military industrial complex. The people that control the man made UAPs and ARVs. Because they can literally bomb the world to extinction. But Jay Z can't do that. Beyonce can't do that. Uh, RZA can't do that, Nicki Minaj can't do that, Brad Pitt can't do that. I'm really not good with celebrity names because I, I really don't follow these people, right? I I tend to just follow them a little bit, just just kind of just like I can spy on them. Like that's why I, I even follow them on Twitter sometimes and and what's it called Instagram because I like to see what they're up to. Right? I don't hate them or anything like that. I just think that it's stupid that they sold out. But I guess some people really want to be worshipped. When I make music, it's because I want to make a living. I want to make money. I want to eat. I want to have a house. 
right? It's not because I want to be worshipped by idols. Actually, I hate doing live shows. That's why I haven't done live shows uh, yet, even though I've been invited to several live shows. All right, I'm uh, I'm a little shy. Right, what kind of musician is shy to do live shows? Right, if I could get away with being a musician only selling digital like uh, copies on Bandcamp. dot com, right? Star dot Bandcamp. dot com is my link, or you can just go to Bandcamp. dot com and look for Medus de Colchis. Right, if I could just get away with making a living with selling Bandcamps. Uh, uh, Like uh, subscription and and music digital sales and Spotify plays, I would do it, right? I I really don't have a, a thing for like being worshipped by by people. But some people do. Some people want to be divas like like these Beyonce characters, right? That's why they sell their souls. But in many ways, like you can't like they they the military industrial complex have made it impossible for anybody. Uh, To have success in the media, uh, unless they sell out, almost, right? Because a lot of people get shadow banned, and it's, it's really difficult. Very few people nowadays remember the old days when YouTube first came out. Like every little silly video was getting a lot of views. Like every one of my videos had at least four thousand views within like two months. That's how YouTube used to be. But now, like I, I, I'm lucky to get fifty views on a video. Most of my videos have like four views, ten views, of like totally shadow banned, right? But you can see at one point in the past, I had a bunch of celebrities following me, and then I had a little breakdown and kind of uh, lost it for a little bit. Sometimes to Trump pick uh, those mental weapons that they use to to like control you mentally because uh, there's there's actually a, a patent on that where they can send signals to your through your phone and to your computer screen or through satellite and they can like mind control you and make you do things because I really lost it for a little while but I was doing really well I had a bunch of celebrities following me on Instagram on my stories I posted a video as proof you can see all those blue check marks following me some of them were even big names like Seal Right, they're all prisoners of uh, of this military industrial complex. Because the minute they decided to speak out, it's going to be like Donald Trump all over again. Uh, everybody's going to turn on them. They're going to be shadow banned, and they won't be able to make a dime without having to work like ten times as harder as they normally would. All right, now I kind of went off track and started talking about the Illuminati. But what is the difference between Myra Orsic? And uh, Dr. Stephen Greer, not much. They're both practicing CE5. It's just one was using it for their own personal gain and evil, for evil supposedly, and the other is doing it so that the ETs know that some of us are peaceful and some of us mean well. That's pretty much the only difference. But so to put it lame, to put it plainly. Dr. Stephen Greer is technically not the first one to practice CE5 and be famous for it. Maria Orsic did it first, and her group of the Real Society. Now I wonder what Valeria Lukyanova thinks about this video, because she's a big fan of Maria Orsic. I'd really like to hear her comments on this. Right, Amatu. I haven't seen her call herself that for a long time. But that's right. So the difference between Dr. Stephen Greer and Maria Orsic is only in intentions of what to do with the knowledge they gain from the ETs. And even then, it was never proven that Maria Orsic actually uh, made con actually succeeded in making contact. These this could all be rumors, right? Just like the rumors of her being evil and all that. Because she was technically associated with the Nazis, but she was more like a, a slave worker, kind of like Werner von Braun, right? They were kind of forced into servitude. It doesn't necessarily mean that she truly believed in the Nazi philosophies and all that. But I guess now only the the inner circle will really know what that's all about. So uh, thank you for listening to my video, the difference between Maria Orsic and Dr. Stephen Greer.